To make the banana bread, we're going to start with our dry ingredients first. We have two cups of all-purpose flour. Now you can sub in bread flour, but just in the next step, take out the baking powder. So just go ahead and dump that into our bread machine. Next we'll take three-quarter cup of white sugar. Then in here, we have a teaspoon of baking powder, a half a teaspoon of baking soda, and a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. And like I said, if you're using bread flour, just don't put in that baking powder. Okay, next comes our wet ingredients. We have a half a teaspoon of vanilla, We've got two eggs and three tablespoons of vegetable oil. And then lastly, the most important part is the bananas. So these are two ripe bananas. You definitely want to be using ripe ones, especially if they have the brown spots on the skin. That's usually the best because they're going to be soft. If you use them when they're still green and firm, they're not going to mix up as well and they won't have as good of a flavor. They definitely tend to be more sweet once they're overly ripe. So we're just going to put all of those into our machine. So I'm going to select the dough setting, which is number eight in my menu here. And we're just going to do that to mix it up. So we're going to go ahead and hit start. So you just want to wash the dough as it's being mixed up and just use a spatula to kind of get off some of the flour that's stuck on the side. But you can see that most of the moisture comes from the bananas themselves. It makes a really nice dough and you want to make sure that uh, the banana pieces are getting crushed up as well. Once the dough is properly mixed, it should take about three to five minutes, just go ahead and hit stop on your bread machine because you don't need to overly mix this. Now we're going to select the bake option, which is number 12 on my bread machine. It's usually about an hour is all that it needs to bake, so we'll go ahead and hit start and come back in an hour. After about an hour, your banana bread will be done, and now all that's left to do is let it cool. Let your banana bread cool completely on a cooling rack. Well, I hope you enjoyed the recipe on how to make banana bread. You can add your own flavor to it by putting in other fruits or maybe some nuts. And I'd love to see what you come up with, so post it in the comments below.